You have cameras that have multi-application modes. Your MSA is one of them. I'm a big fan of one or two options, that's it. It is not a video game as I was talking about with your stress inoculation training. This is all the options that can come with a five button camera like the FLIR K55 or 45 and up. The only two that I use are TI Basic and Search and Rescue Mode. This is an example of using Search and Rescue Mode wrong. You don't use it in high heat situations such as active fire. When you got active fire like high, high heat, this is a department making a push in a commercial building and I snapshot it their uh, helmet cam. The radio traffic said, got turbulent smoke encountering high heat, have not found the fire yet. And the nozzle is closed as they're crawling under. You see it brown, green smoke in a bowstring truss building with an inch and three quarter. That red, if you zoomed in on it, it says greater than 302. It's maxed out. Remember old cameras, they called it white out? That was due to saturation. The camera couldn't tell you how hot it was. It exceeded its maximum capability. This is search and rescue mode. It is not designed for fire attack or what I consider fire attack in high heat. We've used it in fire attack in low heat situations where you hear the following on the radio. We got lots of smoke, but we can't find the fire. Okay, here I come. Hit the button, it's over there, okay? Its maximum temperature range is 302 degrees Fahrenheit. So how many fires are above that? Most of them, okay? This is a good example of using it afterwards. We use it early or late. He starts off in TI Basic. It's a battalion chief supervising the crew while they're overhauling. Watch what happens when he switches it over. Wait just a couple seconds as it switches. See the colorization engage on those spots? This is not x-ray vision, but it gives him an idea of the areas he needs to investigate. Does that make sense? Okay. It's very useful during size up. This is a bank that we burned. The town wanted to get rid of it. So they're doing some kind of major expansion. We're using search mode. You see some white on this end on the uh, Delta side, or sorry, Bravo side of the building. Look down the hallway. What do you see down the hallway? That is towards the Delta side. I switch it to the TI basic, my color goes away. I go back to search and rescue mode and I get some color, but I'm still too far away. There it is. And I'm gonna walk around and look at this building, playing with gangster grip, looking at different things. The gable vent's lighting up, but I don't see any colorization until I get over here to the Delta side. What do you see blowing out the gable vent and the roof? But when I switch it to TI basic, my color goes away. How easy would it be to miss that little difference, especially un under stress and in a hurry, right? Here's the advantage of what this is called a single gain mode, which it does not switch between high and low sensitivity. This is TI basic, no color till 300. They were finishing doing overhaul. The firefighter goes in and checks, and what else does he find? Two areas that need what? Investigation, right? Don't trust it, go check it out. It's I mean, you ever dealt with cellulose insulation? Paper stuff in a fire? That'll hide stuff from a camera, right? This is a good example from a search crew's perspective. Where should the truck company start their search? Technically, unless they have a targeted search. Greatest thermal threat and work back. Watch this. I'm going to flip it to search mode. Watch what happens to that door for me. Does that give you an idea where your problem might be? I have firefighters who say this is cheating. Do you, does the military take the scope away from the sniper? I got friends of mine who do like coyote and wild boar hunting. They're not leaving their infrared scope at home when they're going shooting at night, all right? You are fighting against an enemy that doesn't care about fair fight, right? This is another advantage of having like the K45 and up is I can play back the video right there to the student. This is in West Metro Colorado. We let them attack the fire like they normally do. I recorded it and I hit two buttons and I played the video back to him because I told him, I said, the fire was overrun you. And they said, no, it wasn't. It wasn't that hot. We start flowing right there. He'll move in. See the red over there in the far left? Are they knocking that back adequately? Not really. Watch when my friend Jake gets out of the way here. They're not opening the nozzle. Tell me when the nozzle's opened. You'll figure it out. How about now? Tell me when the nozzle closes. You ever heard a hit and move? 
You hit, it moves past us all day long. There's value in knowing when to use certain tactics.